good afternoon. I'm coming to you today because I felt like I had some things to say. And I've had my boys home all weekend. So I, I don't really have a whole lot of privacy this weekend. So I'm home and I'm wanting to speak and make videos, make content. And I can't because I have little ears and I have 16 year old ears. And then I have cats that are stalking me because they're hungry. Since quarantine, these cats have had stockpiles of food. And the second, <laughs> the second their food bowl is, has a hole in the middle of it, there could be food on the outside, inside the bowl, but along the outsides of the bowl. But the, if the middle of the bowl is empty, they freak out why, I don't know, but they're being very annoying this weekend. So I had to go buy a new microwave because my old one is no longer heating anything up. I don't know what that's all about, but it's pretty old. So I'm just thanking God for the ability to be able to go and get another one. I have so many things that I want to talk about, but today I am heavily thinking about cycles and the part that they play in our lives and our ascension and our enlightenment and all like the place that you want to be spiritually in your life and cycles karmic cycles specifically are very 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 big and probably one of the main parts of our healing that we don't really focus on because it's not something that you really pay attention to until you start to pay attention. I started my healing journey completely, I don't wanna say it was completely by accident, but it just came to a point where I felt so uncomfortable in my own skin that I felt like the people that I was surrounded with didn't really know me. Um, I felt like they only responded to the parts of of me that were beneficial to them and it really got me to a place where I just felt like I was slowly like not falling apart but I was just like I wasn't happy I just wasn't happy and so when I decided to it, it got I went down a very 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 dark road before making the decision to listen to what my intuition had been telling me. I'd been blocking um, blocking my intuition with alcohol, with um, distractions, Facebook, um, social media, just getting caught up in what everyone else's perception of me was, not really knowing who I was at that time. I was responding to the, my conditioned ways of thinking, the ways that I started coping with things and all of that. Um, and by conditioned, I mean things that, ways that I was taught to be, ways that I felt as life went on became beneficial to me. In other words, if I experienced something and I got a certain favorable outcome from it, I would continue to use that same coping mechanism or response to get more things for myself, AKA manipulation. Once you start realizing that something that you do has an effect, that gives you the outcome that you want, you're gonna continue to do that, right? It's not intentional. It's not, um, it's not even always known, but sometimes it is known. 
sometimes it's very, very clear that people are being manipulative. And depending on who those people are, you know, we would choose to look at it or choose not to look at it, depending on who they are. They could be family members. They could be friends. They could be our children. And children are probably the most susceptible because not only do they have a harder time communicating, they are so innocent that it's really not ever, it's not usually intentional when they do um, manipulate us. But they certainly do look at people running red lights and stuff. We get into these cycles of dealing with certain people and situations. And when you start to notice that there's repeating patterns where I just started to notice that with certain people, the same exact things would keep coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And the reactions would be the same. The outcome would be the same every single time these patterns repeat. So it just made me really able to pinpoint the things that I needed to heal in myself specifically. Um, and I just started to notice that when I made those attempts to dig deep enough to find out what is it inside of me that's making me react this way, that's when I started to notice that my life changed and things started to become a lot easier and more guided because I was listening to my inner guidance from myself. And that was not possible until I started loving myself and taking a um, different approach with how I dealt with people. And that in itself is a cycle because there's some people that go through cycles of not being able to love themselves because they don't know who they are. And that was huge for me. Like I said before, you have all these perceptions that are given to you about who you are and you figure out one way or another that if I act this way, then people will respond to me this way and I like it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, but once you start honoring yourself, you start to realize that those different, um, those different patterns don't really resonate with the person that you are or with the person that you wanna be. That's just the mask. That's the mask that you've been wearing for people and you know, to have people still wanna be in your life and wanna be around you because when you stop giving of yourself so freely and when you stop people pleasing, that's when you see who really is there for you, who you really are and not for what you can give them. It's a powerful thing. Like without that confidence in yourself, you really, you really can't teach people how to love you and how to appreciate you. You can't teach people how to treat you if you don't know how to treat you. It's so important. And right now I'm just feeling that there's a huge, 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 huge misconception about what self-love looks like. I think a lot of people are under the impression that showing other people that they love themselves is self-love. And that's really, really not the case. You could have all the confidence in the world. You could have all the physical confidence in the world and still hate yourself. You could be the most beautiful person in the world and still not know a single thing about yourself or even have any appreciation for yourself. So it gets a whole lot deeper and I wanna individually go through self-love. I wanna take notes and actually sit down and have my notes so that I don't go off like I do. <laughs> I go off, way off topic, like I just did. What did I say I was gonna talk about? But um, it's just it's just me, it's just the way that I am. I go off into different directions. But loving ourselves, that's a huge, that's one very important step when dealing 
with cycles when understanding cycles is knowing that the way that you treat yourself is is definitely going to be one cycle that you're going to have to uh, master um see you see i get distracted and i get off topic very easily but i'll definitely get more into the subject of cycles i want to talk about manipula manipulation manifestation i was talking about manipulation a few minutes ago um, and I feel like when I go off topic, it's because it's something that needs to be talked about. So maybe I'll do one on manipulation too. Now that I think of it, I kind of feel like, um, those words come up for a reason. I don't believe in coincidences anymore. So when things happen, I always try to find a message in it. And it has really helped me open up my perspective in a tremendous way. But have a good day, everyone.